brothers and sisters, this is Brother West coming back to you again. I got a few minutes, I got a few minutes why, um, while my wife is uh, actually um, in the store and I got my babies in here till they're um, uh, uh, out of asleep and uh, Emily is um, uh, chilling and relaxing. And so what I want to say to, to, to some, some of you that listen to me, uh, I want to say you are not forsaken. You are not forsaken. God has not forgotten you. You may not feel him when when you call on him, um, but he's there. You're not forsaken. Do not allow your mind to tell you that, that you've been abandoned. You have not been abandoned. A man might abandon you. A woman may abandon you, but God, he will not, nor forsake you, because he's not a man. The scripture says he'll never leave you, nor forsake you. So he won't separate himself from you. If you be honest, the only time in your life where God has been separated from you or you feel like God has been separate from you is you did the separation. Because something happened, you did something that made you feel ashamed. And it didn't make you feel ashamed. It made you do things to, to, to separate you or to not listen to God's voice. You know it. You know it. And you know that all the mistakes that you've made, before you made those mistakes, there was a voice. There was a voice. There was a voice telling you, don't do it. There was a voice telling you, turn around, walk away. But you overrode that voice if you be honest and when you overrode that voice destruction happened I'm just saying just saying just saying just saying but you need to know you need to know even though even though we make mistakes in our own way because especially when we feel like doing things the way we want to do them without consulting God for direction and when we do that, what happens, even though cause the scripture says that in a man's, uh, a man is right in his own, own eyes, but also a, a, the way of a man that leads is destruction. But if you allow God to lead you, it's going to be life. See, anytime man, see, the way of a man will lead you, in the end of that pathway that a man will lead you, it's going to be death. It's going to be destruction. But when God leads you, it's going to be life. That's what the scripture says. So even in those times when Man, man without God becomes his own God. When you want to do your own thing, you want to be grown instead of so consulting God for direction. In those times when you're wrong, God's grace is still sufficient. Because even though he didn't do it, because even the scripture says that God tempt no man. Say that a, a man, uh, that you're tempted by God, but a man is tempted when he's drawn away or her in his own lust and enticement. And so oftentimes the troubles that we get into we created it but God loves us so much that he'll pull us out of it is that all right so I just want to encourage you and let you know that you are not forsaken matter of fact the scripture also says that he's in Paul he's engraving us in the palm he's engraving you my brother engraving you my sister in the palm of his hand and so every time he looks at his hand he's seeing you He's seeing you. And so and so he also says he's mindful. His mind is full of you. Meaning so, how can you be forsaken? How can you be? How can you be? Now, who are you going to believe? Are you going to believe your feelings? Or are you going to believe God? 